Hello. Yes. Happy belated Mother's Day. Uh, the vlog is basically was done before Mother's Day and on Mother's Day. But today is, the calendar says it is the 11th, May 11th, and it's Monday. Hey, welcome to Monday. I said, yeah, you ain't going to be taking those three, four showers after you get to that first, that first or second bill. He said... <laughs> He said, Mom, I got it under control. Okay. He got it under control, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Setting yourself up in different things that you want to do. Rather, you're going to work, going to school. You're dealing with the kids around the house. You're dealing with friends. You're hosting a party. Whatever it is that you're doing and you set tiny goals to do, the more you do it, the more small goals you achieve, the better at it that you're going to become. You know, everybody don't become greatness overnight. Anything that is so worth it over time, things are always better over time. Because spirit rather set you up to win than to tell you to get out there and go for it and do this and do this. You can do it. Then go ahead. Do that 10 miles in one day. And then the next day you can't get out of bed. Okay? So, no, I'm not going to set you up to fail. I'm going to set you up to freaking win. Ooh, it's just cheese pizza. And it look delicious. Ooh, ooh, I'm surprised Jean. Oh, did, you know what? Jean don't eat hot wings and waffles. He got the buffalo sauce at least. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's all I want some buffalo sauce. Underwater's gonna be tails. Yeah. And Gemini's gonna be head. Underwater because the tail is under. Okay, where you okay. flipping the coin? And Gemini man's gonna be head. Okay. Mm. Nadine want Gemini first, and I want underwater. Okay. Ready? Okay. Don't flip it where it get lost. Who won? Extra hot. Like, it'll burn the boot if you put it out there too long and too fast. You know what I'm saying? You got to turn the water on a cold, warm setting now because your butt get burnt. And my butt is the first thing to hit the shower when I get in. Because I, I get in and the and the, my butt is in the shower before my body in there, okay? <laughs> you know, I got to be careful it get burnt. I, I felt the hot. It's sad. It's it's sad till this day that women are not empowering, encouraging, and inspired, uplifting each other, and having each other back. Like slap, back, slap, slap. Girl, I got your back, I, girl. Ain't no room coming through here. I got your back. You got my back. Ain't nothing like that. Nothing. And it should be. It should be. It really should be because I feel like women have been fighting certain things for so long and some things we still haven't, you know, achieved or, or gotten there yet. We're still striving for it. Shame. Shame, 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 shame. Again. Starting all over again. Hey, it's gonna be tough. Yeah. All or not. But we're gonna make it. Hey. Starting all over again. <laughs> it's gonna be rough. All on us. But we're, we're gonna, gonna make it. it. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, special spare the likes. Hey, y'all. Okay, so today is gonna be. Uh, I'm actually, um, you're gonna see a vlog today. A relaxation vlog with spirit. And I'm moving my lips because I'm eating in the process <laughs> of editing. And um, I wanted to kind of touch base and chime in here and there. But I didn't uh, get to do that. Things kind of went too fast after he was out out and about and everything by the time i got home so much going on if you are spirit like that like the vlog you will enjoy this vlog i hope that i bring a smile to your face and make you feel good today and also to let you know that your girl love you and always thinking of you i know i've been missing an action in a couple of days because you will find out in the vlog why <laughs> oh my god but some of you that watch the ASMR videos, I already know what happened with my last video. I was very like, oh my god, like oh my god, what is happening? So I'm 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 doing like tests. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Do I need to run back to the store? Um, because I do have a warranty on it. 
I'm hoping that I don't have to because I don't want to go outside unless I really need to. Mm. Today I'm eating garlic and herb, brown rice. I put it in the rice cooker with some spinach and a few carrots. And it is delicious. Delicious. I'm really hungry. I wanted to do an ASMR video. But child, I had a glass of wine yesterday. <laughs> I had a glass of wine yesterday. Mmm. And that wine put me in a mood. It put me in a good mood. I didn't even realize until it was over, but my closet has been a hot mess for a year and some months. I have not tried to fix it. I have not tried to clean it. I just kind of moved stuff here and there. But yesterday, after my son left and my daughter went to bed, my daughter said, Mom, it's late. I'm going to bed. Normally, I go to bed too. Turn me on some TV. Mm. And I'm out in a few minutes. No, I get to my closet and I get this overwhelming desire to organize all my clothes, my socks. My underwears, my scarves, my bears, my collections, my earrings. I've, at one point, I sat down. I said, wait a minute. Something's not right. <laughs> Spirit, what's wrong with you? I could not figure it out for the life of me. It would not come to me. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to do no more. Let me look at these pals here. And let me take my tail, go take a shower and go to bed. I walked to my bathroom. Next thing you know. I grabbed the bag. I started getting rid of the garbage, um, extra bottle stuff that I leave on the counter, cups and everything. I just start cleaning up. I started sweeping the bathroom floor, straightening out the towels, everything. Next thing you know, I was back in the closet and I was moving pals here, pals there, and I was putting boxes here, organizing here, organizing there. And next thing you know, my daughter came to use the bathroom. And she said, oh my God. My closet is connected in my bathroom. You walk in my bathroom, then I got this big walk-in closet. Well, it ain't all that big, but I mean, it's big to me because I can put, you know, it's like a room. I just said, Mom, you really doing it. You really doing it. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. I can't believe you did all that work. And then I looked around. And I was like, yeah, I've really been working. I said, let me put this stuff down and go to bed. Mm-mm. I ended up fixing up my hats. Next thing you know, I was sweeping up the closet. I started having ideas and decoration ideas. I was like, oh, my God, what is wrong with me? <laughs> okay. I finally get to, um, get to the bed, and I turned to, I found this little movie called Spirit about a horse. Now, I done seen this movie a thousand times. I didn't see the movie, like, actually seen the movie, but I seen the the name of it, the picture of it, the preview or whatever they try to show you. And I said, nope, you can't pay me to watch that movie. I'm not watching it. I walked to the refrigerator, got me a pair, a tall glass of water. And I was at the edge of my bed just watching, like, like really into it. I was really into it. My daughter woke up. She said, Mom, what you eating? That sounds good. You, That must be really good. I said, oh, it's just a pear. I just I just took my first bite. She said, you would think you're in the woods somewhere and you done found a fruit tree. Child, I watched that whole movie. Then after that, I started watching the news. Then I finally climbed in my bed. My bed's so pretty because they didn't they put the clean sheets in my, well, new sheets and new blanket on the bed. So they didn't put my table um, in this corner right here in my bedroom and she's about to fix my bed put my new sheets up there that I never used in my blanket you'll probably hear 
dreaming yes snoring he fell asleep through the whole movie but both movies was really good yeah we enjoyed the movie I climbed in it, everything's white, put my body in it, and I just, oh, my body felt so sore. And I was like, dang, I feel like I've been ran over by a bus. And then the next morning, my daughter said, Mom, think you did all of that. Think it was that wine. <laughs> and in my mind, ding, 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 ding. I got to change my wine. I got the type of wine. It's that same wine, or maybe similar to that wine. A long time ago, I did a vlog. I was telling you about me and Nadine had a glass of wine. We took drinks to the mall and bought him a $300 watch. <laughs> and then the next day, he was like, oh, my God, that is not us. What made us do something like that? It was the wine. It was that type, that happy wine, that wine that make you feel happy. I got to change my wine because the type of wine I like it was the kind of wine that could make me feel laid back and just want to lay down and go sleep. You know what I'm saying? Not, not get all energetic. That type of wine. The wine had me energetic, y'all. <laughs> had y'all spirit in here. Up uh, till 4 o'clock this morning. And I ended up finally going to bed. And now it's about 1. Oh, wow. 1, 1, 1. Hey. It's 1, 1, 1. The angels are here. Yes. I know that's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm up. It's 1 11 p.m. And I'm finally up. But I haven't done my makeup. I haven't done anything. I don't think I'm going to do probably any ASMR today. I um, mean, maybe. I'm unpredictable. I don't know. I might change my mind. I might do something else. But I do have a desire to go back in my closet because I'm feeling that inspiration of wanting to decorate, you know? But anyway. <laughs> Let's get started with the vlog. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, special spirit lights. Hello, hello, hello. <sighs> mm. Let me stop in and say hello to you for a little while. Ah. <sighs> It's been a crazy day for me. Ugh, it's been a... Huh, I wish I could say it's been a great day. But... It, oh my God. I'm getting through today. I'm getting through it though. I'm getting through it. It's like... I started out with so much motivation. And so much inspiration. And just could not wait to... Just throw it all on the table and just film you know I was so excited about it and I had this incident where I filmed I filmed for 45 50 minutes it took me first it took me all not all day but I want to say all day to just get my camera to work I got to the point where I started talking to it. Just asking it, what the freak is your problem? Am I not supposed to film today? Because if I'm not supposed to film today, I'm about to walk away. I'm about to walk away. And once I kind of gave up and said, you know what? Okay, I'm not filming today. I'm just going to figure out something else to do. And it clicks on. So that's okay, it's one. All right, so I filmed, and I enjoyed what I was filming, and I thought it was so nice, and and especially for me where I get to go back and listen to it, and it just like relaxes me. Put me, it just it was just perfect. You know what I'm saying? And then something was the wrong with the mic, and I was like, okay, that can't be. I checked everything. I checked every what. <laughs> Oh, what is wrong? What is wrong with the mic? What is wrong with the sound? I went to go edit, and I said that that's the video I was gonna put up, and just to make sure, like you have something so like wonderful and just nice and relaxing and peaceful to listen to, because I know that 
I know I'm going through it. Nadine going through it. So I know some of my spirit of life are just going through it. Just trying to make it day by day. Just day by day trying to figure out, you know. Is it, you know, everything going to be okay? I'm going to make it to this day. I'm going to just get out this day and tomorrow it's going to be better, you know. Oh, my God. And I couldn't call Nadine to come help me out or nothing because Nadine uh, was getting her extra rest in because she has not been feeling good at all. Um, she had an allergic reaction. You know, she's uh, allergic to berries and... <laughs> I, I'm not sure, but I did I did buy a probiotic, and it did have some type of berry aspect in it. And I took it, and I think she took it too. And then she got an allergic reaction, and she has not been, you know, feeling too well. I'm not even sure if it, it was that. I'm not even sure. I just know that my poor Nadine got an allergic reaction, and she's been, huh, you know, just trying to get through that. So what I'm doing far as helping Nadine with the, the allergic reaction is making sure I cook with a lot of garlic and she's also drinking her vinegar and water and that's just to help clean out her liver because sometimes you can have when you have allergic reaction stuff can stay in your body Sometimes, you know, if you're taking vitamins or anything, or it, it could be anything, anything that, that you take can take stuff like vitamins, they tend to stay in the body a little while. So the best way to start cleaning it out is definitely drinking a lot of water, vinegar, water, and garlic. That's what that's what we do over here. And so I'm basically on my own when something's just not working out for me. So I checked everything and um, I did a test on the microphone. The microphone is fine. Somehow or another, the wire must not have been all the way in or it was loose. And the type of microphone I got, the wire is not loose. It's, it, when they put up the plug, up, it's tight. It's up in there, okay? There's no room for looseness, okay? My plug is tight, tight, tight. So I'm just, now I'm just like, uh... Oh my God, 45 to 50 freaking minutes. Are you serious? So now I'm thinking like, okay, I'm just going to have to take a loss on it. Don't worry, Spirit of Lights. I'm going to do the video over. I just decided I just have to be creative, but... That is going to be my next project, is to get that done. Because I definitely can see well. Okay. Wow. This woman got this t-shirt on. Well, not woman. I think she's a young young girl. Because she, she don't even look, you know, like a young lady. She's like a young girl. She got a t-shirt on, y'all, where the person got their mouth wide open with a spider coming out. See, this is my day. This is the day that I'm in. Okay. <laughs> This is the day I'm in. And then I think I'm a little, just a little tad bit irritated, irritated because earlier we pulled up uh, to go into one of the, the places that we need to go in. And child, it was a, 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 a guy nurse with a uniform. And he goes in the store with his child, with his child. With no freaking mask on. Neither one of them. No mask on. Every single person in the store. Every single person in the store has a mask on. Every single person. And they just free burden. And I'm like, okay. Why, one, why do he have on a nurse's uniform? Two, neither him or his son has a mask on. I guess the mask is not mandatory because it should be a, a sign in the front or right at the door. If you don't protect yourself and protect others, you're not allowed in the store. I talked to my son and he was telling me in some stores, if you don't have a mask on, they're not letting you in. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
I guess it just depends on what store it is. Because eventually you're probably going to lose business. Because me and Aideen literally just was like, okay, let's go somewhere else. Let's go somewhere else. So I'm, I'm a little irritated with that. I'm just like, and then I I, I did, I found me a, my, one of my wigs at the bottom of the box. I put that on. One of my spirit of life said, child, spirit, I had to do a double take. I didn't even, you look so different. <laughs> <laughs> she said, but the makeup, oh my God, child, you look different with black hair. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> and I like and love the look, the makeup look and the wig, but I'm just so irritated at myself. Like, I just can't believe, like, stuff just, it's always just something. Just always something. And then, my freaking neighbors upstairs banging with the grill i guess trying to clean it or whatever they banging it against the bricks and just just boom 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 and i was like okay i'm gonna put up with that because i know i'm gonna get to smell that grill that's what i want they doing all that bang i better smell that grill i ain't smell nothing they ain't cook nothing nothing but you know it's not mother's day yet it's tomorrow mother's day came and gone they ain't cook nothing jay probably took it to the beach somewhere well, it went somewhere. Maybe to a family house or something. But they ain't cook nothing. I ain't get to smell no grill this Mother's Day at all from no one. And I think I'm just, I'm just like at my wit's end right now. I'm just a little fluttered, fluttered because I feel like, you know, I don't know. But, you know, th this is what I want to say. <sighs> Things is not going to always go exactly the way that you plan or the way that you expect it. And we don't know why it happens the way that it does. But I said, okay. Now, y'all remember I said this last month when I messed up. There's just an opportunity for me to be creative again. So, okay here goes spirit gonna be creative again i'm gonna be creative i'm not gonna like get rid of all the footage i will keep like the best parts and find a way to be creative but i'm gonna redo the com video completely i don't want really want to yeah so there's nothing wrong with revamping yourself or reinventing yourself or adding something to whatever you already got going on it's always good to be inspired and especially if you keep thinking about it and you really want to do it you know you got to start somewhere just start where you are a lot of times if you wait too long you'll talk yourself out of doing it I am my own self witness to that I do it all the time <laughs> But I'm going to do it because I did do it from my heart and I really wanted y'all to have this type of video that you can add to your playlist, you know, when you just want to hear someone in your ear, you know? Right now, I don't know what's going on with me and TV. I'm going to bed early and I don't have that drooling desire to want to find a movie, to look for a movie. I don't feel any of that. I am just feeling like I need to, you know, get it together. Cause I, I need some, I need money. <laughs> I need money. I need money. Who don't need money? We need money. I need money over here. I need money over here because I need, I need a dedicated computer. Okay, <sighs> that I can take off the internet that's not hooked up to no type of internet apps or anything like that. And I want to get started on writing. Uh, I want to buy me a writing program. And I need to know that I could start to write and not wonder about if financially, if, you know, like right now, I feel like it just financially not feasible to to just 
Right, because I don't have like I don't have it like that. I don't have it like that. We we need to anything extra we do, we need to make sure that the bills are paid and that you know one of us get hurt or not feeling good. We have uh, co payments. We have money um, to substitute if one of us can't do our part, you know, or whatever. Because now, literally and utterly, it's just me and Nadine. All we got is each other. And I'm sure, like, if we really needed Dream, he would be there. But now Dream got his own, you know, he got his own apartment. So we all still a tight-knit family. We love each other. But we rooting for Dream. We want Dream to continue having his own apartment and continue making it in this world. We want him to be able to be able to continue taking care of himself. So we're not going to, like, bring ourselves to depend on him, you know. And we never had no one else, you know, to depend on, period. We can't ask nobody literally for two dollars okay <laughs> two dollars what what you need two dollars for guess who asked for two dollars <laughs> child no no me and Nadine we literally ugly only have each other I am losing that um that that extra thing where I'm into like so many shows and movies I have the desire to want to do something else now like I feel the urgency and the, the the passion and the readiness for it, you know, like I feel like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, yes, girl, <laughs> it's time to do something else besides being caught up in some of them movies and TV shows. I mean, I think a couple of them done gave me nightmares. Like, what the feet? They turn out, they first, they, they, they seem okay. And then they seem comical, and then they then they turn horror. Like like, I don't watch horror movies, so the second episode is just horror, and I'm like, oh, heck no, <laughs> heck the freak, no, I'm not doing the horror stuff. I'm not doing that crazy mess because I'm not trying to have none of that stuff come my way. I don't even want that in my energy, my mind, my soul, my spirit. No, I don't do the horror stuff. Uh uh, not spirit. Mm mm. Mm -mm. It's enough of us out there that love horror movies. Spirit is not one of them. I do not like nothing um, too horrible and too creepy. Now, I like, uh, you know, the, the gangster in business and, oh, drama and, and thrills and, and it's the other one, suspense. I love stuff like that. I love suspense. Keep me suspense, okay? Keep me that way. I love it like that. Yes, as long as you can. <laughs> <laughs> I be trying to figure out stuff. I love it when I'm wrong, though. Boy, when I'm right, <laughs> when I'm right, it's like I be like, dang, I be spoiling the movie for myself because I can figure out a movie before it even begin to end, before it even begin to start. Okay, I can figure out a movie, and then I be all disappointed that I figured it out. So when I can't figure it out, like let me tell you what show I couldn't figure out. Little fires everywhere. Child, yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then another show that I like. Um, oh, I love. I need to check and see if there's, if there's another episode out. Kill Eve. That's my show, man. Okay. I found out and realized that I'm the type of person that when a new season come out and I have to wait week by week to see a show, it irritates me. And then I don't want to see it no more. Um, and I think because I, I don't have the patience to wait, it's like, especially if I really like something, I, I'm like, okay, I got to see it. I got to see it. So what I'm waiting on now is for um, this season of The Killing Eve that's playing now. See, I think it's season three. I'm waiting for that to finish out. And then I will start back watching Killing Eve. I'm not watching no more episodes until everything is completely and utterly done. Because I, I just... Uh, I'll be oh I'll be like oh my god why did it have to end then I'll be feeling all crappy for a few minutes and we can't have that I love both characters both of them my favorite both every like both both characters is my favorite I don't even know which one I like more you know I like both of them and right now I'm watching Miss America is it Mrs. America or Miss America I don't know I can't remember 
And I'm watching that where, you know, you got the two women fighting. The, you got women's on each side fighting for, you know, two different things. And child, the women's rights movie. Child, child. I, I'm going to keep my opinion to myself because I do not want to have my women and my girls all up and down my common area going off on each other. <laughs> but I'm going to say this. The, one of the issues that I, well, I, I'm going to just say this. I like I, I like the show. I ain't going to lie to you. I do. It's very interesting to me. I think one, because it's based on um, actual events. So it's very, very interesting. I have a lot that I can say, a lot I would love to say, but I'm not one of those channels. I'm not one of those debate channels, and I'm not one of those that's going to be arguing back and forth with people because of, I, of my opinion. So I'm not going to get deep into the show, but I did, I did enjoy the show. I'm still enjoying the show. I saw it all the way up until the last episode recently. Yes, I was happy to see a new episode, but child, I'm going to say this. Women not sticking together has been going on since ancient days. It just don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. I'm gonna just say that because I feel like I'm gonna just I'm gonna just say this, and this is my opinion. I should have been back in that day. I should have been born. Well, I actually, I was born back then, but I wasn't old enough. No, actually, I wasn't born um, at one point. But at one point in the show, I was born. Okay. I just was like a baby or a little kid. But I'm going to say this. Sometimes you got to come together for one common goal. And once you achieve that one common goal, that one, one big goal, and, and the point is, is fighting for women, period. Then, once you get that achieved, then fight for this, then fight for that, then fight for this, then fight for that. Come together on common ground on what you're going to fight together. But child, until this day, you know, um, people love to see women against each other, women not having each other back. And, and you know, it's, it's sad because... I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. <laughs> and it's true. My biggest, my biggest, biggest, biggest <sighs> hasties that leave comments are women. Really, really are women. And it's it's sad. It's, it's sad till this day that women are not empowering encouraging and inspired uplifting each other and having each other back like slap back slap slap girl i got your back I, girl ain't no room coming through here i got your back you got my back ain't nothing like that nothing and it should be it should be it really should be because i feel like women have been fighting you know for certain things for so long and some things we still haven't you know achieved or or gotten there yet we're still striving for it Shame, 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 shame. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna get into it. I ain't gonna get into it. But I do love the movie. I do love the movie. I do. <sighs> Me and Nadine both. We we both we bo child. We be going off through the whole show. Going on <laughs> going off through the whole show. Just just ugh. oh my god. But anyway, that's all I had to say about that. And you know, period. That's all I gotta say about that. Oh my God, that is the biggest poodle I've ever seen in my life. He real cute though. He real cute. Hey, he bigger than the car seat, the boy. Okay. Okay, so the other show I've been watching is uh, For Life. I'm waiting on the next episode. I'm waiting on that one. I'm waiting on the next episode for Eve. I'm waiting on the next episode for Miss America. And... Um, I did get into a couple of other new shows and I abandoned them real quick. I, I, first two episodes, a matter of fact, it's three shows that I tried to get into it. Child, I abandoned them either at the, after the first, I did do the whole episode. Some of them I did two episodes. I tried to give it a good chance. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Oh my God. No. Mm -mm. Now I'm sitting here. And I watched this big fella. Big fella. He got a big 
big, 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 big giant pickup truck. I guess the kids could be safe in the truck or whatever, but you know, he got a baby in a car seat and a little girl in the other seat. She, she probably ain't no more than probably eight. And they in the car by themselves. He don't, he don't stroll to slow tail up into the store and he beat the horn. He beat the horn. I guess somebody touched the door or whatever. I guess he'll come running out. It's just one of them days for me. It's just, child. It's just one of them days for me. This is why, oh my God, this is why I literally try to to be there for my children 110 percent when they were younger because like stuff like this we you know people are too fast technology to people too quick things happen too fast thank god people like me vlogs you know because something go down i see everything right now i'm gonna turn my camera around real quick but i hope you don't take too long in that store because them kids ain't got no business. Didn't, and thank God it ain't that, that hot out here. But he got the windows rolled all the way up with the dog in there. And you know, a dog get real hot. The dog is real, real uh, poodle, poodle-ish. Poodle. He like a big freaking sheep. Okay? Mm-hmm. He got enough cotton on him to make me a wardrobe. Child, people, I can't. It's just one of the days for spirit. But, oh, my main reason, you, ch I, I know, I'm running off at the mouth. Hey, y'all. Hey. Running off at the mouth. I want to make sure that I turned on the camera and said, Happy Mother's Day. Because I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow, not promised to you. Happy, happy Mother's Day to all of the moms that's out there. All of the potential uh, i'm gonna say potential moms too because it was right on my tongue but i meant to say all of um oh what's the moms that's about to have the babies oh the new mommies all of the new mommies oh yes happy happy mother's day y'all <laughs> yes and happy um daddy mama mama day too you know there's some some daddies that play the mama role so happy mother's day to y'all too i just wanted to make sure i said happy mother's day i'm just going off about my freaking day my crazy freaking life and forgetting to say happy mother's day <laughs> happy mother's day to y'all Yes. So let me know what you did for Mother's Day. How was your Mother's Day? If you was a mom, what did your children do for you? Or what did you do for yourself? What was your day like? And if you're just celebrating your mom, let me know what you've done. <laughs> I hope y'all had a really, really good Mother's Day. I really do. Every Mother's Day, I think about my grandmother. I think about my mother. I think about how my mom is close to her mother right now. Like, as far as I ever know, she 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 the one that's always there for my 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 grandmother, which is my mother's mother. My mother's close to her mother. And then I think about my mom. I think about my grandmother. My grandmother, on my father's side, she's gone. That's the one that that gave a hoot about me. That's the one that cared something about me. And then I think about. Some of the, the the women that were in my life when I was a younger girl who who just just looked out for me when they could, and they're no longer with us. They passed away. I don't know what I'm gonna do for Mother's Day. I don't know why, but I feel like you know this whole thing, everything that's been going on, poor dog, he, he, he all up at the window, he at the windshield, he, he want to get out that truck, he's saying, bring your tail out the store, how long has it been, he need to hurry up, he shouldn't have been in there, you're going to leave your kids and your dog in the store, three minutes, that's all I'm going to give you, three minutes, but you know how much, what can happen in three minutes, anyway, oh my god, ugh, <sighs> oh. <laughs> What's wrong with people? <sighs> poor baby, poor dog. Mm. Hopefully the baby not in there crying, giving the little girl a hard time. 
I told Nadine I wanted some ice cream tonight, so maybe she'll pick some up. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I hope she do. I think I'll be okay with ice cream, some chips, and buy a movie for Mother's Day. You know, I'll go ahead and spend a few dollars on a movie, and you know how since we're not going to be going to the movie theater, because that's probably what we would have did on Mother's Day. We would have went to the movie theater, we would have went out to eat. Y'all know how we do on Mother's Day. We celebrate our little holidays with each other. We celebrate, and that's what we would have did. But now, you know, things are different right now. We're in a, a um, our normalcy is not quite right yet. Hopefully miracle i believe in miracles <laughs> i have faith um i have so much hope that soon um things will be back to normal where people can hold hands hug and kiss and maybe this time kissing will be more meaningful you know what i'm saying because <laughs> i can't imagine people out there trying to just be all down each other's throat right now who you know. Okay, thank God. Mm. This one guy. Y'all, everybody else just walking past each other. Child, he going all the way around a person. If they coming his way, he go all the way out the way. He ain't trying to hear that. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So I'm inspired to kind of move things around in the house and clean up little things and get the house a little bit more organized. But I want to start doing it after Mother's Day. I want to kind of chill out a little bit for Mother's Day. And after Mother's Day, I want to start messing around and, you know, doing little stuff for the house since it's getting ready to start getting hot and stuff like that. You know, I'm inspired to just make the house pretty. So that's what I want to do. Maybe change some stuff up a little bit. I wish I could go and sit at a restaurant for Mother's Day. That would be really nice. That would be just really, really like nice just to have somebody serve you a good, delicious, hot, finger licking meal, you know? But I don't even know how that would work. You go sit in a restaurant, you can't really lick your fingers probably anymore. I don't know. I don't know how that will work. But soon, hopefully, soon everything will be okay. It will be back to normal. <laughs> yeah, we need to be back to normal. Shoot. <sighs> mm, 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 mm. Last night, I cooked some salmon. It was delicious. Oh, my God. I still got a little piece left. I had some for breakfast. And I don't know... If I'm going to be able to put that video up, I don't know if the recording to that is okay. Because I filmed it. I filmed me eating my salmon grits and cheese. But I don't know if it's okay because I didn't check it. I was so worried about my project that I did work on. Because y'all know spirit barely, you know, I can't see. So when I, when I can see, I like to read, you know. That's like, I'm a reader. I love to read, you know. So to spend 45, 50 minutes, you know using my eyes and now my now I can't do nothing with it it's just like uh, are you serious my eyes are sharp now so I definitely want to do the video over while my eyes are working it's spontaneous with me one day I'm doing okay and one minute I'm not you know Nadine said to me she said oh mom you look so beautiful today I said oh thank you Nadine it must be the lashes because these lashes are new Loving the eyelashes, but I got to cut them down. I got them cut them down. They too long. And I don't even know why the glue is not sticking here and there, you know. But that happens when the lashes are too long. So I'm definitely going to cut them lashes down. About to fly away. They trying to come off right here a little bit. But uh, I'm going to try to keep them fresh and nice for a little bit. When I get home, I'm going to take them off and clean them up and put them up. So I don't mess them up. They real cute. And this is the last pair of lashes that I had until I can get um, to go shopping again. And then I don't know when that's going to be. I might have to end up, uh, for the first time in a long time, just buying everything online. It's not what I wanted to do. Because I don't know, what's, you know what can happen if my package is going to get to me on time. 
you know, am I gonna have to search for my stuff? Will I lose my money? All them kind of things are coming in my mind because I'm a physical person. But the malls are open, the malls are back open, but I don't know how I feel about that yet because, you know, like they said, people with compromised immune systems and older people, you need, still need to be really, really careful. So that's like a bummer. I'm both. I'm older and I got a compromised immune system. It just sucks. Sucks. It really does. Oh, that's a pretty color car. Yeah, a car going past me with the same color eyeshadow I got on. You see that color right there? Same color. Real pretty. Yes. Shoot, I need a pair of shoes this color. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. I know my spirit of life says, Spirit, I love when you talk to us. I love when you just spend time with us. I, I like spending time with y'all too, y'all. I really do. <laughs> they say, Spirit, you're the only person I know who could talk for 50 minutes and I'll sit there and listen. I, child, I know that's right. Child, I can talk for two hours. That's why um, a lot of times I have to break the vlog up in two. It'd it be an hour. 45 minutes. I have to break it up in two because I don't talk, 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 talk. And sometimes like, dang. Why didn't I stop talking like at 10 minutes? Because now I got to start a second vlog, you know, or I got to make a second vlog, cut it in half. I took me a good shower in that Nivea. Woo! That Nivea was right on time. It was so nice. I took me a good, good, good shower. And uh, woo, it just felt so good. My water is extra, extra hot. Don't tell you why. Do you know why? I bet you can't guess. I bet you can't guess why smell water is extra hot. Like, it'll burn your boot if you put it out there too long and too fast. You know what I'm saying? You got to turn the water on a cold, warm setting now because your butt get burnt. And my butt's the first thing to hit the shower when I get in because I, I get in and the and the, my butt's in the shower before my body in there, okay? <laughs> I got to be careful it get burnt. I, I felt the <laughs> <laughs> did you guys yet? I'm gonna tell you why. Cause dream is not there. Dream is not there. If I son take three to four showers a day, don't ask me why. I don't know why. I want to know if he gonna do that. I, I they did some. Mm, I think he is. I said yeah until he get that first bill. <laughs> Until he get that first bill. See, he ain't had to worry about that bill before. Because, you know, he just didn't have to worry about the water. Child. Child, child, child. My water nice and hot now. Nice and really, really hot. Usually I have to take like a, 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 a hot shower. But it be kind of like warm. You know, like just hot. But not like... Let me put a little cold water with it. You know what I'm saying? And then sometimes it run out. And then I got to hurry up and do what I got to do before it run out. Now, child, I'm in the shower as long as I need to be. <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Yep. And we keeping the lights off. The bathroom light has not been on since. The second bathroom light has not been on since Dream been gone. You know, because me and Nadine, we, we use one bathroom. And we, we don't even use the other bathroom, you know. Yep. It has not been on. Not, you know, all the lights has been basically off except for the lights that we need. So our bill is going to be nice. You know, now, I mean, now we're using the air. But... Yeah, <laughs> when you start paying your own bills. Mm -hmm. This weekend, Dream was here, and the first thing when I first saw Dream, uh, he was just chilling out, relaxing, and he was like, "Mom, why you keep smiling at me?" I was like, "So, how's everything? Are you are, are you all settled in and everything now? Because y'all know I can't uh, still be running in and out of." you know, whatever's going on with Dream because uh, he's an essential worker. He's going to work now every day and he's he's really out there working among, you know, people. So I have to be, you know, really careful, me and Nadine both. And he said that, um, no, he's not really settled in. He hasn't really done anything, um, but uh, he's been working. He's just been doing a lot of sleeping. <laughs> but he said, Mom, why you keep smiling at me? And I'm just looking at him like, he said, he said, Mom, why you keep doing that? I said, because 
I, I'm just excited. I'm just excited, you know, for you to get your, you know, your next bill and everything, you know, paying all your rent, doing everything completely in 100, everything for yourself, you know. He said, oh, mom, I'm I'm be okay. I'm good with that. I'm good. I said, yeah, yeah, you're going to be okay. I believe you're going to be okay. And I said, but let me tell you something. Don't be leaving them lights on. <laughs> <laughs> and don't be letting that water just run, 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 run. Because when that first bill come, you ain't going to feel it. It's going to be the bill after that. And then you're going to be on the phone trying to figure out why your bill so high. He said, oh, okay, okay, mom. I said, okay. <laughs> I said, yeah, you ain't going to be taking those three, four showers after you get to that first, that first or second bill. He said, <laughs> He said, Mom, I got it under control. Okay. He got it under control, y'all. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. It is so nice to get in the shower anytime, and the water is freaking hot. Hot. Yes. But Dream, he spent quite some time with us for Mother's Day, but he slept, y'all. He slept like he still lived here with us. He slept so good. He was snoring and everything. He didn't even get to see the freaking movie. He didn't get to see no movie or nothing with us. He was sleep, 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 sleep. And Nadine said, Mom, I think Dream just come around us to just relax. I said, yeah. <laughs> familiar faces, you know, the familiar vibes. He home now, so he's just sleeping. But trust and believe, we woke his tail up, you know, before it got too late and said, okay, Dream. We'll see you, you know, next time. <laughs> Go home. Yep. <laughs> yes, it's been really, really, really different since Dream been gone. We miss him, you know, when he come around, it's like, oh, my God, Dream. But then when he's gone, it's like, oh, my God, yes. <laughs> yep, you'll really get to see how good you really had it when you was at home. I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. Child, shoot. I would have liked it if we could have all been in a family house and we all just took care of the bills together so we could all have a better quality life. But, you know, you know, things don't always happen. Like, people want different things. People want want to have different things, and, and that's okay, too, you know. But me and Nadine is working towards a house. This time, now we're not getting a family house, though. We're going to get a small small house just enough room for two people that way we can save money spend less and maybe one day you know if we want to you know move we could or just not be stressed out when things don't always work out for us you know because we we go through them things but sometimes things just don't work out and then yesterday The, well, not yesterday. The day before yesterday, I was on the phone um, taking care of business and I was dealing with someone that just, you know, just disappointed me. I hate when I'm dealing business with someone and it's like after they got your money, they kind of treat you some kind of way after they got your money, you know. So I was dealing with that and I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm going to tell you something. We're not dealing with them no more. We're not gonna. We're not gonna give them a second or third chance to treat us like this. They got. They got our money, and they did what they had to do for me or whatever. And but as far as like anything else, I'm not letting them do anything else for me. I I'd rather just say okay, yeah. I hate to start over, and that's what people bank on. They bank on the fact that they think you ain't got nowhere else to go. You can't start over. Or you just don't want to see nobody different. You know what I'm saying? But you got to, when people show you who they are, you got to believe them. Uh, and I'm definitely, definitely is not the same spirit I used to be. You know. And my experiences, you can blame, the, blame all of that on my experiences. Definitely not the same person. Definitely not going to do the ring around the rosy with nobody no more. I sure ain't. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. And once I get your drift, I got your number, I'm out. So I was dealing with something like that yesterday. Just dealing with bull crap. Disappointment. 
shockness. But hopefully, I I pull it together and I'm um balance out where I can get back to balancing everything that's going on around me and everything that I'm involved with. You know, that's what I'm doing. I want to balance everything out. You know, I'm looking forward to the day that I can wake up and say, "Wow, everything is balanced. Everything is okay." You know, right now I'm so off balance. <sighs> And I just don't know what's going to happen from day to day, you know? Well, um, here come Nadine. She finally got some new broom. All right, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hi, special spiller lights. I got home and I released a video. And as soon as I released the chocolate chip uh, eating video uh, from this morning, I had a special spirit of light who said, I say special, usually I say spirit of light, special spirit of light, because my special spirit of lights are my spirit of lights that's going the whole mile with me. You know, no matter where you start from, if you started from, you know, watching me from yesterday, 2020, 2019, 2018, but no matter when you started following spirit, keeping up with spirit, and just supporting me from the day that you started and, and continue going the mile, no matter what, <laughs> hanging in there with me, no matter what I go through, you are a special spirit of light. Special spirit of light said that they have been with me since I, since I had 2K subscribers. I said, wow, that was like in around 2016. Uh, at, matter of fact, it was when I just made it to 2017 because I didn't have no, no, uh, in 2016, my subscriber account, I couldn't even get past 400. <laughs> I couldn't even get past 400. I have been with uh, YouTube and, and creating videos online since 2015. And it took me to 2017, I think, before I got my first actual 800 subscribers 800 it just started happening out of nowhere you know it just started the channel just started growing people started following me on instagram next thing you know they follow me on facebook my facebook was growing i didn't even know i went to my facebook one day to see how many followers i had i remember at one point on facebook i didn't have no more than maybe about a good 80 followers and one day i went to, uh, to look on my facebook and they said my personal facebook was full to the capacity i couldn't even accept no more followers unless i delete people so i started my fan page and then my fan page went way over a hundred thousand i was just like, what <laughs> Oh my God, yes, yes. And it, it is worth it. It's definitely worth it if you have a drive and a passion in your heart. Uh, for some of us, it's not gonna happen overnight and it may feel like it's taking longer than it should. But if it's still something that you seriously want and something you really wanna achieve, I wanna tell you this. And, and this has worked for me. So I want to give you this advice. It's the best advice I can give you. Set very tiny goals, small goals. I want to say small, but I want to say tiny is the better word. Set tiny goals and achieve those tiny goals. And then set another tiny goal and then achieve that one. The next thing you know, you can set a small goal, which is a little bit bigger than a tiny goal. And then next thing you know, you'll be sprinting through your goals, but you have to build up stamina, your strength up as far as like. Now, when I talk about strength, I'm mainly talking about mental strength, being able to build yourself up because you have to be encouraged and you have to be inspired and you have to keep telling yourself that this is something that you want to do. This is something you're going to achieve and this is something you want to complete and you want to go the long mile with it. Okay. Tiny goals is the thing that I do. That's how I started out. That's what I do till this day. I set tiny, tiny goals and then I set small goals and then I set medium goals and then I set maybe a week go, a month go, and maybe where I want to be in three months, where I want to be in six months, where I want to be in a year. But what I try to do is, is tiny goals day by day. Tiny goals, tiny goals start with your day. 
what can you do to get started or to do what you have to do now? And I give you an example. When I get up in the morning, I may say, you know what? Let me examine myself how I feel. I measure my inspiration level. Like if I'm not feeling you know, all that into it. Because sometimes your vibe could change. Something could make you smile. Something could make you happy. Something could kind of discourage you. And then whatever vibe you had that was kind of climbing, now it's going down. So I kind of like, you know, examine myself and how I feel first thing in the morning. And I said, well, you know what? I still feel a little down or I feel a little tired or, oh, wow, I feel really good today. So if it's one of them days that I'm not feeling all that great, I say, well, what do I think that I can, what tiny goal I can set? And then I'll go from there. And that tiny goal may be, let me get up, let me take a shower, brush my teeth, do my hair, put my clothes on, and then I'll go from there. And then I'll write that down. And then my next goal would be if I feel good from there, then I'm going to go ahead and set myself up, you know, set everything up. Or maybe I'm going to clean up my area. Maybe I'm going to organize something. Maybe I'm going to redecorate. And then my next goal is this is what I'm going to um, do today. This is what I'm eating. So, you know, I'm just going to turn on the camera. I'm going to put my food together. Then I'm going to turn on the camera and start talking to my special spirit of lights, you know. So I set really tiny goals and I go from there. I don't I don't just jump up in the morning and I say, you know, I'm going to do dun, 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 dun. And at the end of the day, I'm going to do all of this. I'm going to have all of this done. No, because you can quickly disappoint yourself. And sometimes you can do so much so fast then the next day, you feel like you can't even beat yourself. You don't did so much, you don't outbeat yourself, okay? So you don't want to do that either. You want to do enough so that the next day, you can get up and you can say, well, you know what? This is what I'm doing today, and this is how I'm going about it, and this is what I'm going to try to achieve today. Tiny, tiny goals. Don't try to do everything that you could do in a week in one freaking day. Set small goals. And as you start to get better in setting your goals and your tiny goals, things are going to start getting better for you, better for you. And you're going to be able to start organizing yourself, setting yourself up in different things that you want to do. Rather, you're going to work, going to school, you're dealing with the kids around the house, you're dealing with friends, you're hosting a party. Whatever it is that you're doing and you set tiny goals to do, the more you do it, the more small goals you achieve, the better at it that you're going to become. You know, everybody don't become greatness overnight. Anything that is so worth it, and um, usually when a person becomes really, really good at it, is over time. Things are always better over time because in the process of achieving the things that you want to do, you're going to make mistakes. You're going to have experiences. I know I make mistakes almost every day something, <laughs> something may not go right for spirit it, it could be the smallest thing but it affect me in a big way later on but that small thing helps me prepare for something that I needed to know in another experience later on so your experiences your mistakes is key key to you doing even greater in the future. So don't be so hard on yourself when things don't go exactly where you want it to go or you don't feel so inspired every day. And not everybody's going to be inspired every day. And if you're finding out that every single day you don't seem to be inspired, you can't seem to be excited about what you're going to be doing, then set your, your goals as every other day I'll do this. And I'll give you an example. Draw. Maybe you want to, you know, paint or let's not use paint or draw. Let's say ride a bike. Maybe you want to, you know, do maybe three miles a day, you know. <laughs> Some spirit used to be able to do. I can't do that now. Shoot, I don't even know if I could actually get my tail on a bike, but I am going to try. Like I said, I'm going to get me a bike one day. But, you know, you get on that bike and you do a little bit here. And then you, uh, uh, a couple of days go past, you get back on it and do a little bit, plus a tiny bit more. A couple more days pass and you get back on it. Next, you know, that little bit kind of easy. 
you know? Then you go a little bit more. And that's how you do it. It's just like riding a bike, taking small goals, setting small goals. And before you know it, you you off. You doing your thing. You making small accomplishments. You shocking yourself and you just feel like, wow, I can do more now. This is what I'm going to do. And, you know, I still struggle when it comes to being an online creator. I still struggle at times. Just want to continue being um, inspired and being an inspirational person because everything I do is based on myself. And sometimes I say to myself, you know, I think I've done this long enough. Now I'm going to do this or I'm not going to do this no more. I'm going to start this. What I do is I continue doing what I'm doing, but then I set tiny goals to getting started on something else just in case maybe I want to reinvent, revamp, you know, do something else, do something different, you know, but just set tiny goals and you'd be surprised what you will achieve when you do that because spirit rather set you up to win than to tell you to get out there and go for it and do this and do this. You can do it. Then go ahead. Do that 10 miles in one day. And then the next day you can't get out of bed. Okay? So, no, I'm not going to set you up to fail. I'm going to set you up to freaking win. Yes. <laughs> and you can do it. So, if you got something that you want to do, something that's on your mind that you're thinking about doing, don't be afraid to do it. But just Take your time and set tiny goals, small goals, medium goals, then long, then longer goals and long-term goals. And then try to accomplish and achieve your very tiniest goal, even if that's no more than getting out of the bed. Because some of us won't even get out the bed. Some of us, you know, we won't even, you know... Try to get out the bed if we could, if we could. Not everybody, I'm not talking about someone who's disabled and just can't get out the bed. I'm talking about someone who's um, very able to just get out of the bed, get started on whatever they need to get started on, but they just don't have the motivation to do it. So set tiny, tiny goals. Even if just getting out the bed is a tiny goal, set it. <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hi, such as Spirit of Lights. Hey, I just want to say thank you for all the happy Mother Day wishes. Thank you, y'all. Yeah, I'm having Mother's Day. <laughs> and you can see I'm not dressed up. It's been a weird day. I went to sleep last night early. And I woke up pretty late. It's like literally somewhere around 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I just feel like god felt like i needed to rest and i really really slept really really hard and and nadine had to wake me up like three or four times so i must have been really really tired or mentally i said oh it's mother's day i'm just not i'm just gonna stand in bed and that's what i did i stand in bed and i really really slept i slept really hard it's not one time that i had to try to make myself sleep or anything so but now i'm awake a dream came by <laughs> I have a core team Mother's Day, you know, how things are still are. But Dream for Pizza disinfected everything. So, yeah, we're all going to have um, pizza together. And they didn't put me a big bag down. I'm just give you a sneak peek of uh, the stuff that they didn't put me. There's like a whole bunch of stuff in there. And um, Dream put me um, edibles. And that's an refrigerator. And I got a killer edible beer. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Devil, y'all. <laughs> Say hi, Devil. Hi. Hey, y'all. Hey. No, that ain't his personality. What's your personality gonna be? Hey, y'all. <laughs> it's Devil over here. Hey, Devil. Oh, my God, you're so cute. Oh, my God, I love you. A race spirit. I love you, too. Don't do it. Oh, my God, you're so cute. Hey, y'all. <laughs> no, Devil saying hello. <laughs> This is Dibble, and the reason why I have his name Dibble because he's from Edibles. So if you take the A, the, uh, if, I guess take the E off of Devil, but I'm going to call him Dibble. Dibble is cute. Dibble. If I had a dog, I would probably name him Dibble, you know. And then, now i got to introduce him to Mariah. Yeah. <laughs> he's so cute. Yeah. The new addition to the family. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and then, I can't wait to show y'all. The uh, edibles, everything's in the refrigerator right now. Jean put me a big bag of just beautiful goodies. Oh my gosh. And 
he come to spend Mother's Day with us. Um, I was going to give him put up my mirror, my gold mirror, because he 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 took the the golden mirror, the nice mirror, but he left me the old fashioned one. Cause the old fashioned one cute, cause Fair got some taste. Okay, I I went and bought that old fashioned mirror on purpose. Okay, it's so freaking cute, and it it costs a little bit. What you doing? And they didn't grab the seat so you can relax. Hmm? Aren't you watching a movie with us? You call me Nadine. I said dream. I am mm -hmm. not calling no the difference between Rewind dream and Nadine. Footage. Just because he hasn't been here, he, yeah. Rewind the footage. Yeah. Um, Since he, he had his own place, you could grab this whole chair so you can relax today. Or are you just going to chill? Yeah, just turn the chair around. Move the box out the way. Yeah, my studio is wrecked, so I don't really care, you know. I'm going to clean up. Probably, um... In a couple of days and everything, I'm, I'm cook. I've been cleaning up a little bit here and there. Nadine fixed, did I tell y'all Nadine fixed me breakfast, y'all? She made me fried salmon and eggs. Y'all, the salmon been going a long way. <laughs> we don't cook like five dinners with this big salmon that we had for it. Pancakes, and she gave me some grapes. And I, I don't know why, but I had a hard time waking up. And when I woke up, it tastes so good. She started cleaning up my room. She started cleaning up room. She swept it out. She put all my clothes where they need to put them, got them out the way. And she redecorated my room area just in one, one corner. And I'll probably show it to you when I get up. I'll, I'll make sure I get a look, uh, a glance at it so you can see how she decorated just that area for me. I'm, if I find me a nail, I'll get you and put my mirror up so it could just be really nice. It's nice to look at. But I got still got so much decoration to do. Little by little, I'm going to get it together. Little by little. But yeah. And, huh? You going to put what right there? Oh, the computer? Yeah. There's a plug right there? Yeah, right there. Yeah, so we're about to have our Mother's Day pizza. Let's see, what kind of pizza is it? Ooh, it's just cheese pizza, and it look delicious. And I bet you the other box is like cinnamon buns and cheese sticks. Let's see. Ooh, 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 I'm surprised Gene, oh, did, you know what, Gene don't eat hot wings no more. I hope he got the buffalo sauce at least. Ooh, 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 that's all I want, some buffalo sauce. Mm, that look good. Yeah, we're about to have a family movie night. I told you I was going to buy a movie. I might spend two dollars. Since Dream here I might add like, <laughs> why you laugh? <laughs> Dream can put in the other two or three, and then we'll have a decent movie. Yeah. So yeah, about to chill the freak out. Yeah, happy Mother's Day. When I finish eating and Dream so is. Okay. Stick this whole pot in the microwave, right? This whole box. I don't know if the box can go in the microwave. I mean, I just, I mean, I'm gonna eat it like that. I just got it. Okay. All right. So after our movie, I guess I'll be chilling to freak out, and I'll show y'all my bed and everything. And they didn't give me put the sheets and blanket on it. Uh, she might have to do it later since Dream is here now. But anyway, thank y'all. Have the best day ever. Bye. I had not fast food, but outdoor food. It's so long fast food period. I guess it's fast food pizza. But y'all, look at this. Oh, I took a bite. It's so good. And oh, so freaking yummy. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm -mm. I'm oh, so excited. Man. I can't wait. Be good, bye. You see it, uh, a movie from Redbox. Yeah, hit me. Oh, Lord. Underwater is going to be tough. Okay? Okay, but. So you don't get the vote? I'll, I'll go for either one. Oh, okay. No. Okay, so. Underwater is going to be tails. Yeah. And Jim not gonna be hit. Underwater because the tail is under. Okay. Where okay. you flipping the coin? And Gemini Man is gonna be hit. Okay. And Nadine want Gemini first and I want underwater. Okay. Ready? Okay. Don't flip it where it get lost. Who won? I didn't pick. What did I you did. pick? I didn't say heads or tails. What you say? I ain't say nothing. I said Gemini Man is gonna be heads. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to replay. No, 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 who won? Who won? We got a replay. Who won? Heads, but now you say now you say she didn't get the replay. So yeah, you right. You we gotta right. have a replay, right? No, so we I got, win. We gotta test the luck here. Dream. <laughs> okay, Gemini Man. All right, heads or tails. You call it. Heads. Tails. Wow. Okay, it's in the same.
Tails. Oh, oh. double or nothing. Double or nothing. Okay, double or nothing. 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 Double or Okay, I right, tell. Right, so tell. Okay, tells, tells. Tell. Okay, so head to tell. Ready? Tells. Oh, that was a bad flip, but here we go. Heads. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, Mario, you don't need to be gambling. <laughs> yeah. Um, now I always lose my money when I gamble. <laughs> Alright, so what is it, Gemini man? Ah, <laughs> she gonna get the price of her money back. <laughs> <laughs> she told so they do feel bad about the, that she won. So we gonna see underwater first. She said since it's Mother's Day, she let me have it, you know. So it wasn't no point of us even flipping the coin, but I am happy to be seeing underwater. I'm excited about it. Right, right. right, oh, right. I really want to know what it is. I'm thinking, Dream says an alien. Um, it's either Megadon underneath the water or it's a mermaid. You choose high definition. It's the real mermaids. So we love Red Box. It's been a while since I watched Red Box. Nadine got 1500 points on Red Box. So she gets a free rental. I'm real happy. Yup. I guess the next one we'll pay for, but at least we save some money. Huh? Mm-hmm. I definitely <laughs> I know that's right. Take full of vinegar. <laughs> and you ate the whole box. The whole box be mad. Oh, now you admitting that you see all my hakadash? Yeah, I feel upset. Mmm. I'm dreaming lucky on sharing my mother's day. Candy. I, I mean, I just didn't get one. It's so good to take like candy.